for the rack soda. You see that apparently we plan with birds, no parakeet. She told me she just want a family. I gave it to her on the bell. She took the credit card without asking. She only do it when she get mad. She run up the bed. What's up y'all, welcome back to Ron P Media. So today we're gonna be mixing vocals from an artist by the name of Fresh Boy. And it's out right now on all platforms. So y'all make sure y'all go stream and support his music. Yeah, make sure if you're new to this channel, you subscribe. If you're a returning um, subscriber, make sure you hit that like button and leave me some comments, show me some love, all right? So let's just jump into it. All right, I'm gonna play the song and then I'm gonna uh, show you guys how I got the sound. Falling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris Bryant, league major. Straight out of the slums, going in for this paper. Vision 2020 from a far spot, them bands. Go stream that. That's on all platforms right now. Balling like by Fresh Boy. All right. So, first thing with recording vocals that I always tell people is. It don't matter how good of an artist you are, how good of an engineer you are, you have to make sure that you're doing proper gang staging before you even start recording the actual music. Because if you're if you're not doing proper gang stage, staging, then your vocals is gonna sound distorted, they're gonna sound muddy, and it's hard to clean that up in the mix. So first and foremost, Make sure you're doing proper gang staging with your audio interface. And if you don't know how to do um, gang staging, leave a comment down below. I'll make a video going more in depth. But gang staging is basically where you can be loud in the microphone without your vocals peaking or going into the red. And um, yeah, it's just finding that sweet balance. All right. Once you got that out the way, I like to do compression first on the vocals because compression is when you contain the vocals, you're taming the vocals. Like your vocals is like wild animals and they jumping all over the place. So when you compress them, you just kind of like, hey, sit y'all ass down, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then uh, compression also gives you a consistent sound. So that way everything is like leveled and smooth. He's a real kind of laid back melodic rapper, so he don't do a lot of screaming in his music, but you still always want to um, um, compress the vocals. So matter of fact, I'm gonna turn all of these off. I'm just solo that one. So I have Fruity Compressor. And matter of fact, all of the plugins that I'm using on this song is stock plugins. I think. I think the only one that isn't is the modern deesser. And I'm gonna actually start uh, making preset, vocal presets. So you guys look forward to that. Anyway, so I added compression. That's the first thing I did on the vocals. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how it sound with and without compression. compression. So this is without compression. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. And this is with the vocal, uh, compression on the vocals. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris. Now, some people may argue that um, it sounds louder with the compression off, and it does. And it may not even sound bad. Some people may think it sounds better without the compression. But trust me, after you add the other plugins and things, it'll all make sense, you know, later down the line. But Trust me, you need that compression. All right, so we threw a compressor, uh, compressor, wow. We threw a compressor on his vocals, then jumped into the Fruity Parametric. That's, this right here is what's gonna uh, uh, clean up the muddy sound, you know what I'm saying? So um, I could re reset all of this, matter of fact. All right, so what I did with his vocals with the Parametric EQ, the first thing that I did is frequency sweep and a frequency sweep is when I'm to do this. a frequency sweep is when you uh sweep all of these numbers for harsh frequencies like bad noises so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh I'm gonna put a high pass on that. This is what's gonna take out the muddy sound. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris Bryant, league major. So we got some of that, uh, the stuffy sound out. 
Now I'm gonna take, usually I, I start with number four. I don't know why, that's just what I do. You probably start with number three, whatever, whatever, but I'm just showing y'all what I do. So I take number four. Ballin' like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris Bryant. So what I do is I raise number four all the way up and then I make it narrow. Again, I'm telling y'all what I did for these vocals. This isn't gonna apply to every um, artist because every artist is different. Every artist got a different sound. Even your wherever you're recording can have a lot to do with your frequency, whether you're doing it in uh, a basement, whether you're doing it in a booth, whether you're doing it wherever, you know, that can determine a lot of the frequencies as well. So, um, so what I do is, let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, here we go. Normally I num I label these properly, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just, they're not labeled or nothing like that. So excuse me, but normally I'm more organized. So anyway, so the frequency sweep. So we're gonna listen for those harsh noises. And sometimes those noises sound like the artist is recording in a box or it sounds like recording in a bucket sometimes. Yeah, there you go. So. Ballin' like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight. No and what you wanna do is just go back and forth like that until you hear those, them, that annoying sound in your ear that just don't sound right. Ballin' like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris Bryant, league major. Straight out of the slums, going in for this paper. Vision 2020 from a far spot, them bands. Current okay, I think that's it right there. So what you do is once you found that sound, and by the way, when you find that sound, you, it usually is highlighted. It's like a highlighted, uh, it's brighter. It's like a brighter. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label. I don't know if y'all can see that, but so when you find where that's, that uh, bad frequency is, you want to just bring it down just a little bit, not too much. That way we could remove some of that. And then same thing with number five. We're going to raise it up. We're gonna narrow it out, and we're gonna listen. Ballin' like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight. See, that noise is like a more of a whistling sound. So we definitely gonna bring that down just a little bit. We ain't gonna do too much, you, know? you ain't gotta bring it down too much. Now, what a lot of people don't do that I see, people who mix vocals, and they parametric, they just leave it like this. But I like to raise this up just a little bit because it, it helps from, because I'm taking away with uh, like four and five. So that's how I get some of that back. Now six and seven, this is what's gonna make the vocal sound clear, you know, and it's gonna help cut through the bass. So what I like to do is just raise up seven, just a little bit and raise up six. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Those two you always kind of want to mess with because you got to be careful because too high, then you're going to get like a sharp. It's going to be too sharp and it ain't going to sound right. So you got to make sure that it's just right. Especially artists with deeper voices, you kind of want to make sure that you, uh, you raising that up a little bit just to, so their vocals don't sound muffled and it could cut through the bass without sounding like the bass if that makes sense. I'm not really gonna do too much in depth because like with these, you know, I mean, you can play around with them because again, on Ron P Media, we show you guys how to do music by ear. Um, I know I'm probably doing it the wrong way, but at the end of the day, as long as it comes out right and it sound good, and it sound good when you listen to it in the car, in your, ear, in your earbuds, wherever, as long as it sound good, that's the end goal. You know what I'm saying? So so this sounds all right right now. So I'm not gonna touch the rest of these. As long as I did my high pass and cleaned up some of that noise, we all right. Uh, with the reverb. And again, all of these uh, these uh, plugins, you know, I'm, I'm not going super in depth with them or whatever. I'm just showing y'all what I used and kind of how I used it. Um, I added just a little reverb. As you can see, the wet is almost to the point where it's 
you almost can't even see it, but it's on there. And what I learned too with like artists with heavier voices, sometimes reverb, adding just a little reverb, not too much reverb, but just adding a little reverb helps uh, thin the vocals just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. So I added a little reverb on that. I mean, all right, so let's talk about the Maximus first. The Maximus is a compressor. Um, the only difference between this compressor and Fruity compressor is you actually get to see the vocal. Ballin' like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chase. And what you're seeing is, and what you're seeing is, you see how everything is under that line because, I, again, compressors is for consistency. So we want that same, you know, because sometimes your your vocals may get high, they may get low, they may get low, low, high, high. So when you doing this Maximus right here, it's keeping it under this line where everything is just consistent. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Y'all see how the vocals is all over the place, up and down, up and down. That's why this is so important. So everything's consistent. So that's what the maximum is for. Again, I'm not going too in depth or whatever, but um, I will if y'all want me to make a video going more in depth. But all right, so I got a sound goodizer, preset A. Um, I just raised that up probably what, like 45%, something like that. Now, this is the modern de -esser. This is not a stock plugin on FL Studio, but it is a free download. I'll see if I could uh, find it and put it in the description. If not, you know what, because I rock with y'all. Uh, if y'all want this plugin, um, just let me know. I'll send it to you. I'll Dropbox it or something to you. I make sure you get it. I add this because it, it, it's kind of like a, a gain, if you will, like to raise up the vocals. Balling like a bitch, Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. Off that purple label, vodka straight, no chaser. Knock it out the park, Chris Bryant, league major. Straight. Yeah, now this isn't necessarily what this is used for. This is a de -esser, which takes out the s and the s's and the sh. Those, sh <laughs> those sharp sounds like that. I apologize if I'm hurting y'all ears because this microphone is right by me, so I, I apologize. But yeah, that's what this is normally for, it's a de -esser. but I use it as a gain. Again, may not be the proper thing to do, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to get that, that good sound, you know what I'm saying? And then last on his vocals, I added another compressor or whatever. Now, I got a secret, come close, come closer. Little bit close. You can use more than one compressor on vocals. Yep, yep, you sure can. It's all right, it's okay. You can use more than one compressor on vocals, but the thing is, you gotta make sure you're not abusing the compressor because too much compression on vocals would definitely have your stuff sounding muffled. It, it won't cut through the, the music. You again have to have that ear and listen where's that sweet spot. And that's all I did for his vocals. And then all the rest of it goes back to leveling. You know, if you guys want me to do, do videos that's more in depth, where I break things down, then I will just comment. I mean, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all want to see because I just live in the studio. So I just be making music and doing stuff. I don't know what y'all want to see. So y'all got to interact and tell me what y'all want to see. That way I know what kind of videos to make. So make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be making more content. The more people comment or send me messages and tell me what they want to see, I make the videos. Yeah, that was today's video. Um, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. And if you guys need help uh, making presets or you want presets or you need me to help you with anything, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, until the next time, it's your boy Ron P, Ron P Media. Peace. You see that apparently we playing with birds, no parakeet. She told me she just want a family. I gave it to her on the bell. She took the credit card without action. She only do it when she.